Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded rectangle uh, CDEF fully inscribed in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AD length uh, is 8 units, whereas uh, this segment uh, FB length uh, is 10 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded rectangle uh, CDEF. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle. Let's uh, label uh, this side uh, as uh, X and I'm going to label this side uh, as uh, Y of this rectangle. If this side is X, uh, then this uh, other side EF is going to be X as well. If this side is Y, then this uh, side uh, DE is going to be Y as well. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula, area equals to length times the width and in our case our dimensions are uh, x uh, and y so therefore uh, the yellow rectangle uh, cdef uh, area is going to be x uh, times uh, y and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x times uh, y and now i'm going to share with you the very first method and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle since both of them are corresponding angles if this angle is uh, alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well if i label this angle as our angle beta then this angle has got to be beta as well since they are our uh, corresponding uh, congruent uh, angles so therefore we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, triangle uh, ade and the other triangle uh, EFP are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. We are talking about uh, this triangle uh, ADE and the other triangle uh, EFB. And since uh, these triangles are uh, similar, so we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of the side lengths uh, AD and DE is going to be equal to the ratio of the sides uh, EF and FP. And now let's focus on this uh, side AD, that is 8 uh, units. So I'm going to replace that one with 8 units. The side uh, DE in our case is uh, Y. So I'm going to replace that one with Y over here. And now this side EF uh, in our case is X. So I'm going to substitute uh, for X over here. And finally this uh, FB length uh, is uh, 10 units. So I'm going to replace that one with 10 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore we are going to get uh, x times y equals to 8 times 10 is going to give us uh, 80 and we know that uh, this uh, yellow rectangle area is supposed to be x times y and here we got our x times y value is uh, 80 so therefore our uh, yellow rectangle area turns out to be 80 square uh, units so thus the area of this uh, yellow rectangle turns out to be 80 square units by using the very first method and here's our second method and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, whole uh, big uh, triangle uh, abc we are talking about this whole uh, big triangle abc area is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these three individual areas we are talking about this uh, yellow rectangle area we are talking about this uh, yellow rectangle area plus the triangle uh, ade area we are talking about this triangle ade area and plus finally this uh, other triangle uh, efb area we are talking about this uh, triangle uh, efb area and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of the triangle uh, abc the triangle uh, ADE area and the triangle uh, EFP area and as far as this uh, yellow rectangle area is concerned we already 
No, it is supposed to be x times y. And now we are going to calculate the area of the triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height. And in our case, uh, this side uh, of this uh, big triangle is going to be x uh, plus 8. So I can write this one as uh, x uh, plus 8. And the other side, uh, bc is going to be y plus 10. So no wonder I wrote down y plus 10 over here. So therefore, the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times the base, uh, in our case, is uh, x plus 8. I'm going to write down x uh, plus 8 uh, times the height is uh, y plus 10. So I'm going to write down uh, y plus 10 uh, over here. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle ADE. And we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula. So therefore, this triangle ADE area is going to be a half uh, times uh, y times uh, 8. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 4 times y. So therefore, the area of triangle ADE is going to be 4 times y. And finally, let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EFB area. We are talking about this triangle uh, EFB. And once again, we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula. And in our case, uh, the base is x uh, and the height is uh, 10. So therefore, the triangle uh, EFB area is going to be a half uh, times uh, x uh, times uh, 10. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 5 times uh, x. So thus the area of this triangle uh, EFB is going to be 5 times x. And here is our final step. Let's recall this equation once again. And now we are going to fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. We already figured out the triangle uh, ABC area, the triangle ADE area, the triangle uh, EFB area, and finally the yellow rectangle uh, area is x times y and we can see our this uh, triangle abc area is uh, a half uh, times uh, x uh, plus uh, 8 uh, times uh, y plus uh, 10 equals to the yellow rectangle area is uh, x uh, times y plus uh, the triangle ade area is uh, 4 times y Plus, finally, this triangle EFB area is 5 times x. And now I am going to remove this fraction, 1 divided by 2. So, therefore, I am going to multiply across the board by 2. I am going to multiply on the left-hand side by 2, on the right-hand side, this one by 2, this one by 2, and this one by 2 as well. And here we can see 1 divided by 2 and 2 is gone. So, therefore, we got uh, x... Uh, plus 8 uh, times uh, y plus uh, 10 is going to be equal to, when we multiply that, it's going to give us 2xy plus uh, 8 uh, y plus uh, 10 x. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, left hand side. And here I have copied it down and now we are going to multiply them uh, by using this uh, double uh, distribution. So therefore we can write uh, x times y plus uh, 10x uh, plus 8 times y plus uh, 80. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, left hand side uh, by this uh, whole uh, thing as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see this 10x uh, and this 10x they are gone. Likewise 8y and 8y they are gone uh, as well. Now I'm going to subtract uh, x, y from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, uh, this uh, 2x, uh, y minus x, y is going to give us uh, x times y equals to this uh, 80 on the right hand side. So thus our x times y value turns out to be 80. And let's recall our yellow rectangle area is supposed to be x times y. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, yellow rectangle area turns out to be 80 square units. So thus the yellow rectangle area turns out to be 80 square units by using the second method uh, as well. 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.